Hey everyone and welcome to our YouTube channel. This video will be an in-depth review of the best mind mapping software. Mind mapping is an excellent way to structure your thoughts, brainstorm new ideas, or break down complex projects. In a professional setting, particularly if you manage multiple tasks or teams, it helps you visualize objectives and see connections that you might otherwise miss. So today I'm going to highlight three top mind mapping software and then discuss what makes each one stand out and give you my own personal favorite. Let's jump right into the video. So first of all, a mind map is all about visually organizing your thoughts by representing ideas as nodes and subnodes radiating from a central concept. That way you make complicated topics or projects easier to grasp. Of course, this approach boosts creativity, enhances productivity, and aids in memory and recall and simplifies the complex ideas. So picking the right software ensures your mind maps remain shareable, easy to update, and flexible enough to handle real life collaboration. So here are my three solutions that I believe excel at mind mapping for both professional or team use. The first one is Miro, which is an online whiteboard platform with a wide variety of templates over a thousand. Besides mind maps, you can create flowcharts, Kanban boards, Gantt charts, or brainstorming boards. A big draw is that Miro is built for hybrid or remote collaboration, with features such as real-time pointers, sticky notes, and chat. Some of the key features for this tool is the huge template library as mind maps, concept maps, research boards, user story maps, you name it, Miro likely has a template. And then we have the collaborative focus as you can see updates instantly as teammates rearrange nodes or add any text. Anybody can leave comments or highlight certain areas. It also integrates and links well with Slack, Google Drive, Dropbox, and more. You can also embed Miro boards in platforms like Confluence or Microsoft Teams. Now for the pricing, Miro has has a free forever plan that includes up to three editable boards and unlimited team members. That's more than enough to get comfortable with the tool's features. Paid plans such as the starter plan start at $8 per month per member, and they include all of the features in the free plan, plus the ability that you can create and share unlimited boards instead of just three in a single workspace. You get additional features such as exporting the boards in high resolution to JPG or PDF. That way it's easier to share them around. You can restore previous content with version history, upload brand fonts or colors with brand center and create custom templates. And you can get access to Miro AI, which is really cool for creating, editing and synthesizing board content. I would say that it's absolutely ideal for teams who want a flexible visual workspace for mind maps plus other diagrams. It's also amazing for businesses that rely on strong real-time collaboration with many people editing or commenting simultaneously. And finally, organizations that want an easy intuitive interface for brainstorming or design sprints. As for the potential drawbacks, it might be overwhelming if you only need a straightforward mind map, given Miro's broad range of features and the boards. Also, the free plans board limit three boards can hamper bigger or longer term projects if you want separate boards for each initiative. Overall, Miro stands out for multi-purpose collaboration across numerous project types, not just mind mapping. If you appreciate the robust visual tools and don't mind a small monthly fee once you outgrow the free plan, then Miro is a top choice. Next, we have ClickUp. Now, ClickUp is more commonly known as a project management application, so you can think tasks, deadlines, Gantt charts, etc. However, it also includes a built-in mind map module that integrates seamlessly with tasks. So in other words, you can visually outline ideas and then convert specific nodes into tasks assigned to different people. Some of the key features include a task integration. So when you create or link a mind map node to a task, any changes or updates in the mind map reflect in your main project board. This synergy helps reduce duplication. Second is the drag and drop editing. You can quickly shuffle nodes around to restructure your ideas. And you also have the multiple project views, so if you tire of the mind map, you can switch to a Kanban board, list view, or timeline. The data is all in one system. And finally, it offers the free plan as ClickUp's free tier is quite generous, letting you use the mind map view and create an unlimited number of tasks and members. The upgraded plans start at only $5 per month per user for more advanced features. I would say this tool is ideal for teams who want to merge brainstorming with actual task management, Companies looking for a single source of truth for tasks and ideas, reducing the need to jump between separate tools, or users who want a robust free plan with strong features, not just mind mapping, but also project scheduling and chat. When it comes to the potential drawbacks, I would say the mind map module is simpler than a specialized mind mapping tool like Miro or other advanced diagram apps. If you only want the mind mapping function, then this might feel like you are using a full project management suite that you don't need. 
And finally, some users find ClickUp's interface cluttered due to its many features like the dashboards, goals, automations, and all of that. But if your mind maps regularly transform into tasks or project outlines, ClickUp is a fantastic synergy. If you only want pure mind mapping, then you might find a more dedicated tool a better fit. And that takes us to the third tool, which is Microsoft Visio. Visio is a well-known diagramming tool often used by engineers, architects, and corporate teams to create flowcharts, network diagrams, and floor plans. You can also produce mind maps, though you might need to set up a template or download one. For the key features, then we have that Visio seamlessly connects to Excel, Word, and PowerPoint. If you store data in Microsoft applications, then you can import it or link it directly. We also have the advanced diagrams, so if you want to do more than just mind mapping, like detailed network charts or even org charts, then Visio handles it as well. And finally, the data visualization, as Visio can sync with live data sets so that certain shapes update automatically. This can be overkill for mind mapping alone, but it's there if you need it. I would say it's absolutely ideal for teams that are already using Microsoft 365, so basically everyone or Windows-based ID solutions who want everything integrated under one ecosystem. Additionally, it's very good for users who also need advanced flowcharts, wireframes, or complex technical diagrams beyond a typical mind map. For the potential drawbacks, we've got the cost and the licensing. Visio has multiple pricing tiers, from one-time licenses around $300 to $500, to subscription models at about $5 per month per user or more for the premium editions. That is costlier than many simpler mind mapping tools. And then we have the steep learning curve, as Visio can be less user-friendly if all you need is quick idea mapping. Finally, it requires more setup, as mind mapping in Visio is not as straightforward as it is in dedicated solutions. So overall, Visio is a formidable tool if you do a lot of technical drawings and already live in Microsoft's ecosystem. However, if you just want mind mapping plus real-time collaboration, it might be more than you need, and more expensive. So after comparing these three, which one is the best? I would say Miro offers a highly flexible, intuitive whiteboard approach with strong collaboration features, absolutely superb if you want to do more than just mind mapping. ClickUp, on the other hand, merges mind mapping with project slash task management. It is great for teams who want direct integration from idea brainstorming to actionable tasks. And finally, Visio is powerful for advanced diagrams or if you use a lot of MS Office data, but it's more expensive and not purely mind map focused. So really, I would say Miro is the top pick for its combination of a free plan, an intuitive user interface, and excellent collaboration. If you want a simple but powerful mind mapping solution that can scale to broader diagramming or team brainstorming, then Miro fits the bill. With that said, if your main priority is turning those mind map ideas directly into tasks, then ClickUp might be the better choice. And with that, we will have reached the end of this video. Thanks so much for watching. If you have found this video to be helpful and informative to watch, go ahead and give us a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That way you don't miss out on any follow-up content that we can make relating to this one.